the shootist. The story of John Bernard Books, the last of the great gunfighters. It's a man I could have taken. This film has the makings of a classic. In it, John Wayne gives the most remarkable performance of his career. I'm a dying man, scared of the dark. Welcome to A Word on Westerns. Today we are talking about John Wayne and his final film, The Shootist. It had an all-star cast, and our guest today was one of those stars, Rick Lenz. Give him a big hand. <laughs> Welcome. Hi, Rod. I'm good. Your role in The Shootist, you played an annoyingly obnoxious <laughs> person. Richard Lenz. You must appreciate, sir, that you are the most celebrated shootist extant. Extant. Still existing. Yeah. I liked me. <laughs> <laughs> Did John Wayne like your performance in that? Yeah, very, very much. I mean, that was my impression at the time. Uh, I got there and I knew my lines, and he was very much professional. Sure. As everybody who worked with him knew. I understand that he didn't want to have somebody shorter than me or about his height for the role, so that's one of the reasons that How I How tall are you? I was I was six four then, and yeah. and he We're was, all shrinking. He's just like that yeah. over me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what a wonderful film to be in! It was so. Oh, I was really uh, pleased. So respected, and uh, did you know at the time how you know, ill I ran he into was? Sherry North a few months after, just about the time it opened, and uh, who was in it as well, and was wonderful. And uh, she said, "Why is it getting all this wonderful attention?" And I said, "I think." I think it's a good film. Well, I understand too that Don Siegel, who of course did Dirty Harry and uh, the, you know a lot of really wonderful films, Invasion right. of the Body Snatchers. Right. He and John Wayne had very different styles of. Uh, That's what I understood. I didn't understand that until afterwards. When I worked with him, uh, when I did this, the sequence with him, he. Uh, uh, there didn't seem to be any friction between them at all. I know that, that Don Siegel was kind of a smaller, almost more television style in terms of the over the shoulders and the, and the close stuff. Uh, so I, I guess Wayne didn't, uh, that wasn't his idea of how you shoot a Western. Mm -hmm. But I think it worked for the shootist. Uh, mm -hmm. so. uh, but besides your height uh, in the auditioning for the, the role, how? What was that process? I didn't audition for the role. I went in and, and I, I was shocked as anybody, but I went in and got it because I'd worked for the, the producer before. Was that Bill Self? No, it was Mike Frankovich. Mm -hmm. I'd done Cactus Flower for, for sure. him a few years before. Mm -hmm. yeah, on, uh, on The Shootist, yeah. uh, with, uh, with Don Siegel and all that great cast too, did you... Uh, <laughs> Uh, spend much time with the other actors like Lauren Bacall and and Boone, of course, was. Oh uh, well, yeah. In that well, Bacall, I'd done Cactus Flower on Broadway with Lauren Bacall, and uh, so I remember her, her coming in toward the end of the sequence that that we did, where he has ends up putting the gun in on my mouth, and uh, and Bacall comes in and, and and Duke was saying nice things about me, and uh, and and Betty said. Uh, she said, I discovered him. And uh -huh. you know, it was one of those things that you, know, you, you say, and in fact, she did give me my big chance. And, and, uh, and so she said to, to Duke, and he wasn't feeling really well during a lot of that shooting um, that sh of that movie. And uh, she said, I discovered him. And, and Duke said, oh, shut up, Betty. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't, he was just, he didn't, he didn't have time for the, the Hollywood stuff. Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. How did Betty discover you? I, I, I had been understudying uh, the, the juvenile lead in, in, uh, on, in Cactus Flower. Who was and the original? The original, uh, my role was Bert Brinkerhoff, who became a director later mm -hmm. on. And uh, it was Brenda Vaccaro was the original cast, and, and Laura Bacall, and uh, Barry Nelson mm -hmm. played the Walter Matthau role. And so, Ingrid Bergman had played yeah, the Betty Bacall. In, in, in the, the movie, movie later on. Yes. She played, in fact, I ran into to 
Mizbakal. I always called her Mizbakal because... It's Betty now, though. Well, yeah, I know. <laughs> She's gone. Uh, I ran into her one time at, at uh, Bloomingdale's, and she had wanted the role and because she mm -hmm. created the role on Broadway, so she wanted it in the movie, and Mathau had had the, the clout in that, and he said, no, I've always had a crush on Ingrid Bergman. I want to do this with Ingrid Bergman, so he did. And so I ran into to Ms. Bacall later at uh, Bloomingdale's, just, uh, just out of nowhere. And, I, and I, I was always kind of dumbstruck, you know, with her. And, and so we got reduced to not having many words left. I didn't. And I said, did you see the movie? <laughs> and, and she That's said, a nice icebreaker. <laughs> she said, no. <laughs> Thanks for watching. My name is Rob Word, and we love bringing these programs to you. We've got a lot more scheduled coming up. We post a new one every single week, and we want you to subscribe, like, and share.